Hey everyone, short video, hopefully a short video for the Obin CT3535 travel tripod. I recently had the opportunity to use this for a couple of weeks in the uh, prairies and I'm hoping to give you a um, somewhat thorough review of the pros and cons of it. Of course if it was somewhat it wouldn't be thorough, now would it? I bought this a few months ago and uh, hadn't had the opportunity to use it until July. This is not the tripod I use all the time. Most of the time it's the Vanguard uh, Alta Pro 263 and I keep that stowed in the Duha under the back seat of my truck. This one is strictly for traveling via aircraft or to use as a secondary. This tripod is carbon fiber and this one has the BE208T dual action ball head. The entire tripod weighs about two and a half pounds and you barely even notice it when you have it strapped to your gear and you're walking with it. I used a Case Logic backpack type bag on the trip and the one thing I can caution you on when it's strapped to the side of the bag is to make sure you have these legs tucked in all the way. It will catch on the airline seat if you just have a backpack slung over one shoulder. Each leg has four twist locks for five sections that extend out and each leg can be fanned out to three different positions 24 degrees, 50 degrees, and 80. The legs extend out with these four twist locks as I mentioned. I'm not big on twist locks. They always seem like they never really get tight enough to keep a leg from sliding and you constantly have to go back and retighten. Something to realize about the legs is if you're not familiar with this setup or you haven't used the tripod in a while, you can loosen the leg a little too much and the sleeves will pop out of the leg. I did that in my haste before a sunrise photo and had to grip the leg with my hand during the shoot. Just something to be wary of. You can remove the rubber feet on the legs and use the spikes to steady the tripod if you want. Sometimes these spike feet can work really well on grassy lands or sandy areas. The center column comes in two pieces and each piece can be adjusted for height with the uh, twist locks again. You can reach a height of uh, just over 51 inches. The center column is also reversible for really low angles if you want and it doesn't take uh, a whole lot of time to set up. Also one of the legs can act as a monopod if you need one. What's cool about that is the max height is now 53 inches. So pretty good for sports photography if you're into that. As I mentioned, the head is a dual action ball type and it's pretty simple to uh, get the hang of. It works great if you need to roll some video and you want to pan during a shot. Tilting, not so much, but that's not what it's designed for. I like the quick release feature a lot. Just loosen the knob and it comes off. Couldn't be any simpler. Just be aware of muscle memory because if you're used to loosening a knob and then pushing a lever in, you may think that the camera is secure and it's not. There's a bubble level here, but you can barely read it when the camera is mounted on it, so not a huge loss really, and if you need a level, just carry a small one with you and place it on the lens or on the camera. So for specs again, the load capacity is 9 pounds, has a max height of 51.5 inches, a minimum height of 8.5 inches, its folded up length is 12 inches. I like this tripod a lot for travel, but again, I wouldn't want to use it every day. Most of the drawbacks are a direct result of its light weight. I can see grit getting lodged in the legs under the twist locks, so make sure you uh, clean it once you get out of the field. There is a, a counterweight hook to help you out if you need to be out in the wind, but I wouldn't rely on it. So there you go, it's a great travel tripod. It is pricey at $190, but I'm not buying another one of these. It comes with a bag, you're never going to use it unless you're going to stow the tripod for a while. Other than that, I would recommend this. It's uh, There's probably cheaper ones and probably even lighter ones. But uh, for the money, I think you get a pretty good buy here. Later.